called the Epistle to the Romans, and uh, the epigraph is from Romans 8. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. When we think back on it, we'll call it the end times, and remember the strong men tying knots in their thick ropes just before they used them to bind up the bulls and drag them down. We'll remember how false confessions were forced out of the mouths of our daughters. The infidels used poisons and magic to effect this, a worthy pursuit for witches. When the sea pulls out and out further, getting ready for the enormous tidal wave, we'll think of the bears and the chimpanzees, how they were released from the zoos and were then free to roam what was left of the earth. I don't remember what happened to the rest of the animals, do you? The sea will pull out, as I've said. You must believe it or you'll have no part of these dialogues. We will call it end times and reminisce about sea bats, how they follow the seagulls out to sea and drown there, as did poor Nana's only son. She had daughters with poor drowned men as her only boy. We were raised on mysticism and mind disasters. And we watched our fathers spit tobacco out into the orchard, to the field, to the ocean. We will look back at the last of the sunflowers leaning so low, and we'll recall the end times, swooning the way the brown sky infiltrated houses and temples and concert halls. The proper incantation is the one that brings loved ones back to life after they've passed over the other side. My mother knew this. So did her elder sister. They held hands sometimes and chanted it low and sweet over the newly dug graves in old cemeteries. Now my mother has died, and my aunt, her elder sister, says there are no incantations. By the time the grasses have all been burnt, and we're all the great sex as we used to be, the only good books will be photo albums with pictures of the end times as we remember them. While the hookers count their stretch marks and the pimps count their money, we will chuckle over the way hundreds of cars simply stopped on bridges. And people got out of the cars and looked over the sides down into the lakes and dry creek beds to see if anything could be divine there. We'll call them the end times and nod solemnly. We will cut our eyes to the side and smile at each other's chatter. Each of us will believe that, she, that he or she owns the truth. Not so. We all know the same secret. There is sunlight and there is snow. And horse piss stings in both. The end times will buckle and roll in our memories. Hoping for further mercies, we'll walk naked to the sea. We'll stand and watch it disappear.